Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rosie. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Do you want some? Do you want some cake, huh? Do you reckon he wants some cake? Should we give him some? Mum, do I have to go to bed? Oh, I see you're nine now, so you can stay out partying all night. Maybe when I'm ten. <gasps> we'll see. Mum. <sighs> yes. Can we check for monsters? Honey, there's no such thing as monsters. Please. Okay. No monsters up there. No, no monsters in there either. See, nothing. Yeah, no monsters under here. Okay, Missy, bedtime. <laughs> oh, for oh, God's sake, Bill, get out. Got you, Rosie, for oh, me. Yeah, she's not going to sleep. Uh, oh, see, there's no monsters, just idiot uncles. Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bill, get out. Good night, idiot. <laughs> you all right? But can you leave the night light? <sighs> night, Mum. Night, Rosie. Do you work at the clinic? I have to see the doctor. No, sorry. Shut up. I need to see a doctor. I don't know when they open. I said stop it. I can't help you. Sorry. With the movie stuff. Stop it! <sighs> oh, sorry. Hey. Petrol, thanks. Um, do you want some chewy? It's two for four dollars. No, I'm fine, thanks. Cool. Haven't seen you around. I just work here once a month. Our age. Oh, yeah, at the, at the clinic. Mm-hmm. I'm out of town now. <laughs> you from the big smoke? <laughs> well, welcome to Borden. Australia's best kept secret. <laughs> we even have... Da -da -da -da. Tap and go. Wow. I don't need a receipt. Thanks. See ya. Hey, 
are you okay? The ammo's are on their way. She dead. Get me a towel. Uh, yeah. Sorry. What happened? Oh, long story. You look like shit. I know. I was going to say exhausted. Mm. Oh, honestly, Matt, what do you expect from a four hour round trip? It's once a month, Mum. Everything go okay here? We charted an exploration of the Marianas Trench. Slash the muddy hole she dug at the bottom of the garden. We practised her vocab words and she ate all her dinner. Mm. That sounds like a good result. I'll let you get some sleep. Thanks, Mum. Thanks for tonight. It's my pleasure. Look after yourself. Mm -hmm. oh, have a shower. Night, Mum. Can you help me with my assignment? What is it? It's a video assignment for our family tree. Uh, you want to do it now? Okay, set up in the lounge room. Oh, and Rose. Should I bring snacks? No. And action. Who is in your family? Well, our family's pretty small. Four of us. This is my mum. Hi. She's a nurse. She helps sick people. Then there's my uncle Bill. He's really funny, but annoying sometimes. 
He thinks he's strong, but he asks his mate to open jars for him. My Nana's name is Anna. She is the best cook and she lets me help her when baking the delicious cakes. Mmm. She also lets me have sleepovers at her house with her cat, Tinga. Anyone else? Oh, I forgot. I have a dog. He's named Indy. What makes your family different? Well, most of my friends have brothers and sisters, but I don't have to share my mum with anyone else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Still bleeding. Um, we're going to repack the uterus, of course. feeling? Mm, fine. Um, would you mind taking your granddaughter out so that uh, we can speak alone? Come on, Rosie. We'll go get some magazines for them to read. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love you to the moon, babe. Love you too, Mum. Mm -hmm. Something stronger, I feel like shit. Uh, we can discuss your pain management during rounds. We have a few questions. <sighs> Rather than morphine. Miss Paxton? Uh, Natalie's fine. Hi, I'm uh, Lauren Balmer from the Department of Child and Family Services. Family Services? Natalie, it's really important that you're honest with us. Yeah, of course. Because we really want to help you. Yeah, what's this... What's this about? Where were you the last 24 hours? Uh, it was my day off and I was at home. Can anyone verify that? Yes. My daughter. Ah, so it was just the two of you home last night. Did you receive any 
medical care or go to any hospital in the last 24 hours. No. Perhaps she saw a colleague that you worked with at the hospital? Can you just tell me what's going on? Do you have full custody of Rose? Yeah, her father isn't in her life. How long has it been that way? Always. I know how difficult this must be for you. Frightening, even. Life is hard enough. Then along comes another baby, maybe unexpected. I'm sure there's a lot of moms who couldn't cope. I cope just fine. I understand. But I want to help you. I want to help both of you. What did you do last night? I told you I was at home and I went to sleep and then I woke up bleeding and I collapsed. We know about the pregnancy. What? Me? Uh, that's not possible. <laughs> oh, God, I haven't had sex in a year, more than a year. No, there's no way. It couldn't even be a miscarriage. What did you do with the baby? There is no baby. Natalie, I don't want this to become a criminal investigation. I'm not lying. I wasn't pregnant. Natalie, you have elevated levels of HCG in your bloodstream. Your pelvic bones are separated, your cervix is dilated. You were not only pregnant. Last night, you went into labour and gave birth. Which one's yours? What? Which baby? Oh, no, I didn't. I just couldn't sleep. How long has that one been crying? What do you mean? That little one, I can hear it from my bed. You can't hear that. No. I should get some sleep. Your psychological evaluation shows no evidence of psychosis. Um, we did, however, find a trace of benzodiazepine in your blood. That's a sleep aid. I have trouble winding down. Your medical records show you were taking uh, duloxetine. Mm -hmm. uh, I cycled off antidepressants about a year ago. Was that on medical advice? I don't need them anymore. So. I've spoken to your friends and your work colleagues and they seem to corroborate your claim that you weren't pregnant. Of course they did. Attention, 
So what happened to me? Honestly, we're not sure. In a typical phantom pregnancy, a woman believes herself to be pregnant, which can manifest in some physical symptoms, but... To go through labour without being pregnant, it's unheard of. You're a medical mystery. Or an exceptional liar. I don't need to stay here, do I? No. But uh, you are still recovering. I recover at home. I'll be following up with a home visit. I'm sure you will. I tried to get it all out. Bill said he could send it back. No, thanks. I think I might go have a shower. I'll put fresh towels in there. Thanks, Mum. I can't find any other cases like mine in any of the medical journals. So you're a freak? <sighs> but why? Well, you definitely weren't pregnant. I know. I mean, I remember when you had Rose. You were a whale. Thanks. <sighs> I'm exhausted. And that child services woman, she thinks I dumped or killed this phantom baby. Oh, fuck! What? The... You, you got... Oh, my God. Oh, shit. OK? 
okay. Mom. Boys, what are you doing? I can't sleep. Oh, why can't you sleep? She keeps pinching me. Oh, baby, so bad dream. I wasn't dreaming. Hello, Natalie. Well, it's nice to finally meet you, Rose. Is it? Rose, don't be rude. May I sit down? I'm Lauren. May I get you a drink? I would love some tea. Okay, I'll put the kettle on. So, you have the day off school. What fun. I go back off to lunch. Do you like school? I like your jumper. My Uncle Bill gave it to me. Because you like dinosaurs? I love them. What's your favorite? I like them all. Oh, come on. You must have a favorite. What about, um... T-Rex. I like the Micropachycillosaurus. Ooh. Because that's the longest name. Ah, oh, that's good. Okay, here's your tea. Ah, thank you. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, Natalie. We're gonna have to ask you to leave while we're chatting. We'll be fine, won't we? Guess so. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah, you jumper. Can I see your arm? Where did you get those bruises? A girl at school. It's okay. You're not in trouble. I just want to help. Well, my mom. I want to help her too. She thought I was dreaming, but I wasn't. Could you stand up? Does your mom ever get mad at you? No. It's okay, you can tell me the truth. Telling the truth? She loves me. Of course she loves you. Sometimes when someone loves you, they can hurt you. They need help. Excuse me, Natalie. Are you aware of the bruises on Rose's arm and back? Rose? 
I told you, Mum. It was the girl. She pinches me. Rose, go to your room. I'm sorry. Hey, you're not in trouble. I just need to speak with Lauren. Okay? Look, whatever you think is going on here isn't. I did not hurt my child. You can leave now. You'll be hearing from me. You can tell me. Was it one of the girls at school? Or was it me? Did I hurt you? It was the girl in my room. What girl? You don't believe me. Hey, how's the aquarium? It was so fun. Bill bought me chicken nuggets and he didn't make me read all the information signs like you did. That's right. Fun time, Uncle Bill, to the rescue. I gotta tell Indy about the penguins. Yeah. Nice to see you. <sighs> now where are the penguins? Well dressed. <laughs> Rose has asked if she can stay at my place. You like a sleepover? When? What? Well, she doesn't like her room now. She says it's scary. Most kids go through a scared of their room phase. Yeah, but they don't get bruises. She's exhausted. She almost fell asleep in her chicken nuggets. I don't know what to do. We tried a few different things, but in the end it was rapid kidney failure, usually caused by ingesting chemical products. There are various options for burial or cremation. It's okay to miss him. I bet he misses us. But how? He's dead. Well, just because somebody leaves us 
but it doesn't mean they don't love us. And if I close my eyes, I can still feel his wet nose waking me up in the morning. And his tongue, when I'm looking like the peanut butter jar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They still love us, even if they're not here. Rose, I want to ask you something. I want you to be honest with me. Yes, ma'am? Did you go into the laundry yesterday? Maybe you needed something from the cupboard? No. Time to sleep, yeah. Love you. To the moon and back. To the moon and back. No, you can't be further away. Rose, are you okay? Quack, 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 but none of her little ducks came back. Rose? She fell, but it was like someone pushed her. I know, I know, I should have taken her to the hospital, but if child services found out, I'd just... I think there's something in my house. Is that your dog? No. I'm just playing with him. What type of dog is he? Um, I think he's the kind that chases sheep. Like, on a farm. And he's black and he has pointy ears. What's his name? Hey, boy. The tag says Indy. He likes you. <laughs> Mom, you weren't watching. Oh, I was too. What's wrong with her? Oh, I think she's just playing a game. Mom, can we get ice cream? Mom, 
Hmm? Sorry, what? Can we get ice cream? Yeah, okay. Go wash your hands and we can go after. I know this seems strange. Your daughter's in danger. Excuse me? My daughter can help. I'm not interested. Keep it. Excellent work. Now, ice cream. How are they looking? Amaze balls. <laughs> Mummy's just gone to sleep. Sorry. Time for jammies? Really? <gasps> Truly. Shouldn't I stay up until the cakes come out of the oven? Don't you want to go to bed? Grandma. Rose. Do you like sleeping alone without Grandpa? Well, I miss him, but I have Tinker, and he doesn't snore half as much as your grandpa did. <laughs> but do you get scared? Never, because I know I'm safe. You know you're safe too. I guess. But, you know something? I wouldn't mind a bit of company. You want to sleep in my bed? Tinker won't mind. No, I'll, I'll talk to him. <laughs> yeah. You go brush your teeth and grab us a book to read, okay? Okay? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Tinker? 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 Come on, sweetheart. Oh, if you could just get stuck again. Come on. Tinker? Sadness, grief, and pain are the unfortunate price we pay when experiencing the joy of love. And what a joyful and loved person Anna was. <laughs> she was loved by her late husband Tom, who she is now reunited with. She is loved by her daughter Natalie, her <laughs> son William, and her favorite person in the world. Her granddaughter Rose. 
Our congregation has lost a friend and ally with a heart as big as it was generous. Join you. Mom. Yep. Is Grandma Anna in heaven? I think so. That's what she believes happens to you when you... Die. Do you want to talk to someone about it? Hmm. Well, there are some doctors who are really good at speaking to people about their problems. Do I have to? No. What is up, Rosie? Talking to someone won't help. How do you know that? Nothing works. Moving house didn't work. What do you mean? Hello, Natalie. You remember my daughter, Ava? Yes, hello, Ava. Hello. Indy! And your daughter? Uh, at my brother's. And you've cleared a room? Come in. We have 22 minutes. 22 minutes? We start at 3.33. 3.33. It signifies communication with the other realm. Natalie, you need to listen carefully. Ava uses these mirrors as a bridge with the afterlife. If a spirit reveals itself in her right mirror, it's benevolent. If it appears in the left mirror, it signifies evil. What it's been doing, I don't think it's on the nice list. It could be innocent. It could be acting out of fear. Ava will learn its true nature. Now, when we start, I'm going to ask you to face the wall. Whatever you do, do not look into these mirrors. They don't always like to be seen. This is dangerous for Ava. Some gifts are a curse.
Hello? Are you there? Are you with us? Hello. What's your name? My name's Ava. don't want to tell me your name? Maybe we can be friends. If we're friends, we could play together. Do you like games? That's not how you play. I can tell you the rules, but you have to play nicely. Look, I want to be your friend, but if you keep Don't move my chair. The rules are, I will look when I want to. 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 Stop! Don't force me to look in the evil mirror. Do not look. Are you all right, Ava? I won't keep playing if my friend is naughty. Maybe if we can see each other, we can play properly. You don't want to show me where you are? <laughs> it's dark where you are? Ow! You hurt me! That wasn't very nice! Ava, are you alright? Ava? Rose can't help you, but I can if you show me where you are! So you do want to be my friend? If you don't show me where you are, I can't play anymore. Quack, 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 quack. But none of her little 
Doc's game back. Ava, do you want to stop? Natalie, walk towards me. Ava, are you sure? She's trying to show me. Don't turn around. Just come closer. Stop there. She found you, but you're not the first. There were other mothers. Wait, let's go. Police are no closer to finding Lisa Bayer. Her mother, Janet, made a frantic call to police claiming the nine-year-old had been taken from her bed. A massive search is underway, but so far has found nothing. This is not the first tragedy to strike the Bayer family. Just six months ago, police were called to their house when Janet Bayer's two-year-old son, Liam, drowned in the bath. Janet Bayer claimed to be distracted while cooking dinner, leaving the infant unattended. The coroner ruled the death as accidental and no charges were laid. However, the investigation may be reopened in the wake of Lisa's disappearance, as security footage has revealed Janet Bayer at Torsden petrol station more than 100 kilometers from her home the night of Lisa's alleged disappearance.
I am sorry to bother you. I have locked my keys in my car, along with my mobile, and I was just uh, wondering if I could use your phone to call roadside assist. Just a minute. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Hi, uh, I need roadside assist. I locked my keys in my car. Rego is QEX884. I am parked out the front of 19 Chesterfield Road. Yep, that's it. An hour. Okay, thank you. <sighs> Thanks so much. No problem. Um, do you know if there's a public toilet around? I've had three coffees. I don't think I'm gonna last an hour. Um. No, uh, not really, but you can use mine. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. I'm happy to walk some yeah, there's, there's nothing around. Oh, are you sure you've already been so kind? No, that's fine. Oh, thank you so much. Sorry. <laughs> Are you a journalist or a true crime podcaster? What? No. No, I told you, my car broke down. I mean, I locked my keys in. Short call. I need your help. My name is Natalie Paxton. You people never give up. I'm not a journalist, I'm a nurse. And my daughter is in trouble. And I know this sounds crazy, but I think it's got something to do with Lisa. I swear I won't tell anyone. 
What happened to Lisa? I don't know. I promise you I won't tell anyone. Where is she? Get the fuck out of my house! Dark where she is. She's in the boot. Hi, um, I was wondering if you could help me out with some records. It was about a suicide that came through. Are you a family member? No. I'm not authorised. I was on the scene. I'm a nurse. I tried to save her. I can probably give you access to the incident report. Okay, um, would that include toxicology? It's just I gave her CPR and I've been having some health problems. Just wondering if I should be worried. What was her name? Margot? I'll need more than that. Her surname, approximate age. Looked late 50s? Mm -mm. Nothing showing up. Where was she transferred from? A town called Borden. Um, would have been September 28th. September 28th. We've got a Margot Malloy, but she's... 42. Really? Cause of death, coronary arrest, secondary to ingesting poison. Yeah, that's got to be her. What? Do you want to see her? No next of kin, so she's on ice until the state incinerates her. Yeah. Hi, sweetie, Maria here. Can you prep one of our toe taggers for a viewing? Nothing noxious showing up. What are your symptoms?
Wait. About six months ago, she came into the ER. Dizziness, fever, major uterine bleed, DIC. What was the cause? Apparently, full term labour. Apparently. There's no mention of the baby. Even if it's stillborn, there'd be a record of it. Margot's address there. Natalie, what are you doing here? You're following me? I had to. I knew that you were lying. You don't know a fucking thing. I know that you are a threat to Rose. You're wrong. Then what were you doing at Janet Bayer's house? I am trying to help my daughter. Natalie, you need help. You can't help me! Get out of my way! Sorry, Natalie, I am just going to have to do this.
Lisa. God, I'm so sorry. Triple zero, police, fire or ambulance. Police? There are two bodies at Margot Malloy's house in Borden. You ready to rinse? You can close your eyes, put your head under water. Is it safe? Absolutely. How do you know? Well, because, um, that little girl, I know, I know she frightened you, but she didn't mean to. Then why did she? She had a very unhappy life. And her mother was very sick. She couldn't love her children the way that I love you. That's sad. What if the mum tries to hurt me? She can't. She's in jail. She won't hurt anyone ever again. Is the girl happy now? I think so. Now, rinse. Now it's time to get out. Or you are going to turn into a wrinkly old lady. Mm -hmm. All right. Get yourself into jammies. Okay, go. Hello? Hello? Who is this? I didn't kill my son, Liam. It was Lisa. Janet? I didn't kill Liam, but I should have killed Lisa first. What do you mean? I turned my back for a second and Lisa drowned Liam. I lied to the police, but she wouldn't stop, so I drove her to the forest. Never turn your back. Rose? I'm sorry. stabbed me in the forest, but I ran away. I hid under the empty house and I died. Then Mummy Margo moved in. Where is my daughter? <laughs> I'm your daughter now.
Rose, you remember what I told you, okay? Just because somebody leaves, it doesn't mean they don't love you. Okay, you remember that. Okay. Every day. Okay. Every day. Okay. <laughs> don't leave me. <laughs> Hi. Happy... Hi, Rosie. Hi. Happy birthday. My 10-year-old girl. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Thank you so much for the picture. I put it on my fridge. Getting so good. Tell Uncle Bill that I said hi and that I miss him too. Really wish I could be there. I love you, Rose. To the moon and back. Why can't you just shut? I love you, Mama Duck. I love you, little duck. To the moon and back. To the moon and back. <laughs> 